I've got a big old brush pile just waiting for these boys. Come on, guys, get down in the water. Down, ease on in here. We're gonna fill this brush pile. This brush pile is eight or 10 foot high and spreads out 10 or 12 yards wide. And it's a real hairy brush pile. It's kind of hard to work because there's so many sticks that are sticking you and poking you. Everywhere you turn, you've got one in your side or in your neck. And you just have to kind of part the brush and work your way through it real slow. You don't know what you're reaching into. You're eye level with sticks where you think snakes might be hanging out. So there's like no escaping. You touch one and your immediate reaction is to jump back. And then Skipper and Jackson are telling you, no, 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 get your get your hand down there. <laughs> hey, 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 man. There it is. There it is. You can't catch him running Feel away. Anything? Keep your paws in the water. <laughs> Jackson and I know that noodling in the brush pile is trial by fire. It's tough. Coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. I know this brush pile like the back of my hand. There's fish here, so it's time for one of these brothers to step up. Over on the far corner up next to the bank, the little fish had made his home, and that fish had bit me every single stinking time I came there. So I knew right away we were fixing to have some fun. Don't run from him. He's just a little fish. I just wanted to find a fish, make sure I caught it before my brothers, and, and definitely uh, not wuss out. Oh, here he is. Okay. Is that you? He's still, no, he's, he's right still, there. He's still, he's still. Brent, he goes in, gets down in just about up to his shoulder. Of course, I reach in. And then as soon as I get in there, I hear that whoop. Oh, what was that? <laughs> and my skin on my knuckles are gone. Brandon, you get it? And he's, oh, oh, he says, it's on now. Then I had to suck it up and reach back in. And... Brent gets bit hard, but pulls out a five-pound flathead. Congratulations, brother. We all may have trouble telling the twins apart, but the twins themselves are crystal clear on who's whooping who, and middle brother Brent is in the lead. The way he reacted sounded like a great white shark, but unfortunately, it was the first fish of our adventure. I heard you to put the pressure on your brother. Yeah, well. <laughs> Brother and I look at each other, of course, Greg and I do. We're like, son of a bitch, he's winning right now. So we both look at each other and we're like, all right, we got to get back under. <laughs> Those boys are really good at peer pressure. Coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. It's a free-for-all, but we're trying to give baby brother Jed a little extra help. But Jed's going to have to help himself, too. As jumpy as he is right now, he couldn't find a fish in an aquarium. Can you hear me talking to you? Yeah, I'm telling you, he's coming to you. He's coming to you. I didn't see it. They wanted Jed in the water because the brothers were rising him. He hadn't gotten a fish. All right, Jed. Okay, well, here comes baby brother. Don't let him beat you over there. Obviously, you don't want to be that brother that's going to be wussing out, but my heart was beating like crazy. You know, I was shaking, and she, I mean, I freaking probably pissed down the river 20 different times. I was so scared. Here's the flathead right here under my hand. He's right here. You see that? You going for him? You want me to come try him? Come on, you're gonna catch Come try him. He's a professional athlete, and you would think that this would come easy to him, but contrary to what you would believe, it was tough for Jed. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? Jed, man, with a splash like that, there's not gonna be a fish left in any miles of here. What the hell? Did y'all girls see what I saw? <laughs> The twins really psyched him out on the first day, and he was just all thumbs. He fumbled every fish he came across. This should be Jed's fish, but his cutthroat siblings are trying to steal his thunder. Somebody may have a chance at him right here in the brush. Grab his tail? No, 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 you can't catch him by the tail. The oldest brother, Greg, goes in for the kill. Guy's right here. I got him. I got him kicked. You got him? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got him. Coming up. Pull your toe out of his mouth. That's when. Bam! Bam! Oh! And bam! Now it's time for Catfish Corner. Catfish generally practice which method of feeding? Is it suction, biting, cutting? The answer when we come back. Welcome back to Catfish Corner. Catfish generally practice which method of feeding? The answer, A. They may use suction when they feed, Believe you me, they bite hard when they defend their dens. 
Baby brother Jed blew his chance. Grab his tail? No, oh, no, no, you can't catch him by the tail. And now the oldest brother Greg is closing in to steal his fish. Don't blow it, Greg. Nitty's watching. <laughs> Don't lose him, brother. Please. Turn him loose and pull him up. Right, he's right, right here. He's moving. Book. Oh, he's moving back. He's right here. He can change I got it. I got it. Get him. Get him. Get a hold of him. Get hold of him. Right there. Woo! There you go. Yeah. Woo! 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 With this 25-pound flathead, Greg jumps to the lead in this battle of the brothers. Nice catch! Good what? fish! Good what? fish! I was thrilled because the way that first fish came around, I was able to pin it without getting bit. Catfish, Oklahoma style! He didn't get bit. I don't know if it was exactly as hard as what I did, but his, his unfortunately, was a nicer fish. Congratulations, Thank man! Thank you. Look at that Hey, where the, what happened to the brotherly love? Greg won't even give me credit on that one, but I scared that fish right into him. After that happened, I'm like, great, I'm in last place now. <laughs> but uh, he didn't even get bit, so he really hadn't experienced what Brent had just went through. Gregory, two. Brent, one. Jed, zero. Jed screams like a little girl. <laughs> and Susie touches I, a fish. I, I set up the layup, Brent, though. I get two points because it was the biggest. But we need to take a break from the battle of the brothers because I need to get Maudie in a hole before she loses her nerve and gets on the next plane back to Chi-Town. Maudie came in and she said she was the little firecracker and truly she was. Chiquita Pero Picosa! Chiquita Pero Picosa, I gotta live up to that name now, I guess. Oh, grande catfish. Uh, oh my goodness. I think at that point in time, she had made the decision that as close as she wanted to get to fish was maybe some fish on a plate. That's the hole right there. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys sure it's a catfish? <laughs> yes, okay. it's, it's a monster catfish. Shut up. Push down to the bottom. See if you fell in. You yeah. can do it. Push okay. your foot, push your foot in. Push. Ah! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. One. The He's there. He's there. You guys have been Catch trying him. to pull a prank on me. <laughs> no, 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 yes, no, no. I'm feeling the sand. Are you sure? I'm moving around. I'm doing a little ballet dance and everything. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you guys can't scare me. I told you, Chiquita Pero Picosa, OK? All right, Not next time. Oh. Your job was just keep a smile on everybody's face. We could be at a funeral. And as long as Skipper and Jackson are there, we will be smiling like from ear to ear. Can I get some action, please? <laughs> this girl's bad, man. I told you, she can't you. Better be She's Chicago. She's street smart. You're not going to play her for a fool, man. She walks up, no fish in here. You're not scaring me. Produce, you're talking smack to me. You're going to show me a fish? Give me one. Uh, my little four, ten, five. My most, my most, let's go. <laughs> the temperature on this dog day topped out at 112 degrees. We're going to call it a day. But for some, the sun never sets on competition. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Next shot wins. One, two, three. Got the ball. That's a half a point. Half a point. I'll take that. Tomorrow brings another date with a brush pile and a chance for big talker Neil to walk the walk. Today we have work to do. Some of our guests still haven't caught a fish. These fish are like, like Jackson, you know, they're gonna get in the shade. You know where they're gonna be. Fat boy's in the shade. Go easy, go easy, fill this brush. And that brush pile's kind of where, like, everything collects. You know, it doesn't smell all that great. It's it was just like heat and, and death and animals and not a good mixture at all. It may not smell like a bed of roses, but if this brush pile doesn't get Neil into a fish, I don't know what will. Don't leave out on me, brother. No, I can't get past this big ass. We're trying to get Neil involved in the brush pile. Everywhere he went, it seemed like there was a uh, thorn or a thistle or something where he just couldn't quite get in there. And Don't make me put you in there. Yeah, so Neil kind of talking a big game all weekend. <laughs> When we start throwing fish at you, brother, you better be catching them. If you can take it, I can take it. You know, finally, when his name's called up to the challenge, uh, he's complaining about the prickers on the tree. <laughs> Where's the thorn? Right here. Where? Where at? Like, all right here, right here. See us, big, big, fat man? Goes in this little hole. You got one? Neil has convinced himself he's in the game, but Neil's not in the game. A big, fat guy like me can get in there? I know you can. The worst part of the trip was the yelling from Jackson. Get in the game. Three of them, Jackson. 
because he's telling me to go into a thorn bush. I'm like, yo, there's thorns, thorns, they're everywhere. I can pull them out the water, you know, and he's like, get in there. Get in the game, Neil. After he kept yelling at me, I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm going in there. This is what I came for. Come on. I go in the water, all the way in, as far as I can go, and then I bring my hand up so he can see that I'm in there. But to be honest, I wasn't trying to catch any catfish. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'm thinking that Neil is not going to do well out here. You know how many fish he's running by you? I was worried about my you shirt know, getting all caught up. Right on, your shirt's all right, man. We buy you another You're trimming. It's all right, brother. It's all right. Neil's going nowhere fast. Come here, come here, girl. So I figure if I can get Marty a catch, he'll have to get a fish, too, or never hear the end of it. I hear my name called. Honestly, yes, I am nervous. I am extremely nervous, but I just try not to show it. There you go. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Coming up, boom, oh, oh, thing just latches onto my hand. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson! Oh, my God! Chicago gal Marty never left her hometown before this. Now she's chin deep in a stinking brush pile, getting bit. Got your hand inside of Hold on, heck yeah. Oh, oh, wait, I got him. I still got him by his tail. Right, you just got to stick your hand in there. Okay. Come here. That fish felt like egg yolk. It was so slimy. Grab his bottom lip, his bottom lip. Oh. Hold on to him. No. I still got him. I still... There you no. go. There you go. No. Uh. I tried to hurry up and pull him out of water, and that's when he's like, no, hell no, I ain't going with you, and, like, maneuvered his way out my hand. Uh. He scratched me. It did scrape my little pinky up, but as long as my manicure's still on, that's all that matters. Hi! Marty won't touch a thing in the water. If something goes by her. She's like, oh! Hi. Catching everything but fish. But she can get down there and catch a fish, you know, because she's a little spitfire. She's a little package of dynamite, and that's what she's going to do. Catfish are not real easy to catch in the open water. They're really strong, really slimy, hard to get a hold of. I have to move uh, very slowly, very deliberately, because there's lots of brush, you know, that's there to poke you and hinder you. Before too long, I find a fish that's perfect for Marty. Should I put my hand in his mouth? No. Marty and I are working the fish between us. She reaches down my hand, through the sticks, and squeezes him really tight. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Come on, 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 Jackson McGare. Yeah. With a little help, Marty scores for Chi-Town with a five pound flathead. All right, you gotta give him a kiss. I gotta kiss him. You gotta give him a kiss. When I caught that fish, I felt like I caught a big old 30 pound fish. So everybody's like, yeah, all right, Marty, all right. And I'm just like, oh, awesome. Marty, she got a nice little fish coming out of that brush pile. Neil, he went over. I told him I was gonna catch three fish. I was positive I was about to catch three fish. And then I went home with nothing. For those unlucky few getting shut out, tomorrow brings another shot at redemption. It's morning. And we're already in the 90s. The only way I can describe this heat will be like walking into a kiln. But the competition's heating up, too. So you're going to get another big fish today? Yeah. I'm going to try to be yeah. kind and let it go to someone else. I like how she talks stuff, but in a polite way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let you, you know. You're not as good as ready. me. You're, you're top of the leaderboard. Okay. I'm second. Jed okay. <laughs> Jed zero. For talk of the most trash and being, you know, the best athlete of the family playing professional lacrosse, Jed completely went over. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna pick it up today. And I'm gonna probably pull up on that size right there in the wall. Brent and Greg were uh, winning the battle, and they would not stop hounding me on not catching a fish all day. They called me the biggest wuss. They're like, you know, you need to grow a pair. I was ready to prove them wrong. His brothers each caught fish, but Jed's eating crow for breakfast after all his fumbles. And big talking Neil hasn't even come close to a fish. 